of cases at USD 259 have spiked in the last week. More than 1,100 students have tested positive for the virus. Officials have seen a jump of nearly double the cases with staff of COVID. That has increased the demand for substitute teachers across Kansas and the school districts. Some universities, however, stepping up to help the demand across the state. Case since Jessica Watson live tonight with that story. Craig, a spokesperson for Friends University says future teachers helping out school districts is a win-win situation. Many students getting to have hands-on experience with kids, and right now that's helping school districts remain open. I'm chomping at the bit to get in the classroom, actually. Melinda Donnelly says after homeschooling her own children, she is excited to become a teacher, saying it was substitute teaching that inspired her to get into the classroom. I love, I love teaching kids and watching them learn. The intern dean of the Newman School of Education says many of their students are long-term subs while taking classes to become a teacher. I think we have to continue to uh, work together, find creative ways uh, to get uh, get get our students out into the classroom so that they can help be part of the solution. Many students subbing all over Kansas and the Board of Education's temporary authorized license, she says, will allow some of their undergraduate students to also step in to help out. Wichita State University says this semester they will be graduating 300 new teachers and currently they are working in partnership with Wichita Public Schools. Have set it up where our students are able to meet their KSDE regulations of student teaching um, by going four days a week for their student teaching placement. And then on Fridays, they serve as a, as a sub. A spokesperson for USD 259 shared that since the temporary emergency authorized license was passed on Wednesday, they have had more than 150 people apply for their sub positions. Here for you, Jessica Watson, KSN News 3.